If you know me well, you will know that I am a sucker for a good mud flood tour. Of course, when I say good, I obviously mean so bad that it's funny. And I'm serving up yet another one of these tours today. This time from a man who calls himself Hidden Truth, Hidden Truth. And he has found a half buried building. <laughs> Hello and welcome along to another episode of Tin Four Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Right, back to today's video, which as I said at the start, is from a channel called Hidden Truth, Hidden Truth, and they are about to take us on a mud flood tour. For those of you who don't know what a mud floor tour is, then I will explain. Now there are a group of people out there who believe that an ancient race called Tartaria was completely wiped off the face of this planet by some ancient global giant mud flood. Now I do not know why they think this because their main evidence is windows are sometimes near the ground. And I'm not kidding. Now let's join Hidden Truth, Hidden Truth out in Kansas, shall we? I'm out in central Kansas at a town called St. John, Kansas. It's a small town, uh, been around since the late 1800s or so they say. Indeed, St. John, Kansas was founded in 1875 with a population of less than 50. Originally called Zion Valley, it was then renamed after the governor, John P. St. John. And there's a great building behind me I'm gonna show you, but first I was walking down the street and I saw this building across the street. I'll take a look at this. So this building, is about the strangest looking building <laughs> I think I've seen um, in a while. Well, I'm gonna be honest here, buddy. You couldn't have seen that many strange buildings. And if this building isn't uh, a great example of a building that has been flooded uh, from the original, uh, I don't know what is. Let me guess, it's all in the windows. This building has the windows all sitting on the ground. The proportion's completely off. It says 1925 First Christian Church. Of course, that was put there. Let's see if it says 1925. Yeah, it looked a lot like an eight but it's a it's a nine but it's been put there and the other i have another insignia on there it says art show um that's from night that's from 2017 but this building is a complete lower building structure that is all red brick but the the windows are right at the base level i don't know who would make a building like this this is obviously looks like it was covered up um the lower level was just completely covered up by like 20 feet of land yes but you can pretty much see the base of the building right there it's not like you can dig down and find the other half of the building underground is it but essentially it looks like a one floor building built in very much the same style that we've seen before in these videos from buildings built in the late 19th early 20th century at least i'm talking how high so what would we we would be looking at here is just the top portion of the original building which would have been very tall. So if the land were water, this would be flooded up to the very top, top level in the windows, uh, sitting right on the ground. So really, really interesting and amazing looking building on the notion that it would have been made like that originally because you would have a huge portion that is underground. Well, why don't you ask if you can go in there and see if you can find the bottom half of the building inside, the massive portion that would be underground. At a time when they did not have machinery and they would have had to dig it out with a shovel. And for what, when all the other buildings 
were said to have been like that. And that's where we're headed next, because right under that stairway, there's still an original portion that is cut away from the building that you can see what is there originally. So we'll head back that way. But first, I just want to finish on this one. And there's an original chimney. I don't know if the inside would have a fireplace on the level that's actually left. I would say yes, as it would be the only level in the building. But this building is looks to be pretty much boarded up. The windows are boarded up now. And there's a chimney there. Seems like an odd place to have a door, if indeed this building was originally really tall. Just a random door that leads to your death as you fall out the top of the building. But for a one level building, a couple of air conditioners stuck in there. Um, it looks like this building had been had a cement border put on the bottom and originally this is the very top of a building so <laughs> if this were a massive flood we would be walking on water near the top of the building right now sounds totally plausible let's move on to your next find shall we so here we are about a block over now getting close to this building it's right on the town square in St. John and there's a sign there that says barber shop but here we can see much what the uh, original building looked like at least had a level lower on the outside it's been cemented over now well no that looks like there's a basement and they've dug out a section next to that basement to allow access through a door and light to come in through windows. Obviously, but I just want to show you what it was like and how much lower it went, at least that we know of. It could be multiple floors lower, but this is the one that's showing. And you can see by the opening there that it's a pretty wide opening to bring things in and out that's been had a makeshift um, narrowing of the door and then an actual door put in. So yes, it was the entrance to a barber shop that was located in that basement. Now clearly that's proof of a global mud flood. But the wood area is much wider. It's close to six feet wide, I would say over five feet which would indicate that it's for bringing things in and out which if there was originally a, <laughs> this would have been constructed with a basement that would have been a major turn 90 degree turn there and up the stairs and anything that wide couldn't have even been brought down these stairs just because it has a wide frame it doesn't mean it was designed to allow things to be carried in and out of it. It's a door for people to walk through. So anything that, that would have gone in that doorway, uh, I would say the door itself is even wider than the stairs. But definitely the area that is then built in on the side of the door so the door could be fit fitted in there a normal door size had to have those um, margins put in, built up out of wood, where the whole building was red brick. Behind that, behind that stucco will be red brick. They are obsessed with red brick, these mud flood tour people. Red brick and basement windows, that's all the evidence they have. Dear, oh dear. Shall we leave Hidden Truth, Hidden Truth on his tour for this one? Yeah. Let's do that and we will wrap up Tim Ford Tuesday for another week. We are all done and dusted. Thank you very much for watching today. It truly is appreciated, it really is. Now, if you did enjoy it, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and if you really, really enjoyed it, hit that like button too. There are at least another four Mud Flood Tour videos to go back and look on in the Tim Ford Tuesday playlist. If you enjoyed this one, you can go look at those too.
I've been Simon and Dan, have yourselves a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday for more Terry R. Iker. He is a flat earth genius. Sort of. Not really. See you then. <laughs>